Welcome everybody, it's Create Your Sue and this is the downloaded version of Canvas Workspace. Just checking here the premium features, I've got um, printable stickers. I'm going to also check what version, this is what I would normally do, whether it needs an update. We'll go check for Canvas Workspace updates and it's telling me no, we've got the latest version, so OK. If you need to know what version you're running, same screen, Scroll down the help file and right at the very bottom you will see about Brother Canvas Workspace and there's the version I'm running today. Just click OK. We're happy with that. So going to um, set account settings to activate your card that you have um, when you purchased your uh, printing cut. There's a number of options in here. Uh, machine registration, user information, Pattern Collections and Premium Function Activation, which is the one we're going for, which matches this premium up here. It's down the bottom there, and it's also here on the left. So it doesn't matter whether you choose this one or this one. We'll bring you up to the same screen. So you click in here and you type in your activation code. I've just covered mine a little bit so it's not as obvious for um, the video. So type that in. You don't need to put the dashes in, it will automatically place those dashes in the spot. Be careful with your O's and zeros, and choose Activate. You can see the Print to Cut function name comes up. And if you scroll down a little bit, scroll down, you'll see Second Activate. We'll just go Activate there you'll get a success. That's so activated, successful. So you can go OK. And it will update your Canvas workspace. So I'm in the artboard, which is this bottom right hand icon. And you can choose your artboard size. That's what they call it, artboard. I'm going to choose A4. I won't change the mat size, but it will add a sizing or a grid to give you a bit of a guide. You can see that show registration mark on the right where I've got the big arrow and show registration mark at the, you know, under premium as well. And there's the registration marks. So we're going to trace. I'm just going to bring in the trace um, image that we want to cut. So I'm taking, bringing it from my computer, so I'm choosing the one on the left. And I've just got it in my downloads folder. And I'm going to choose the a unicorn. And there it is, bring it in. And it's just tracing around the outer edge only. You can see I've got that selected and it's only going around the outer edge. If you've got a different cutout, you can choose the other. It does work with that too. Number of colours will refine and define that outline to some extent. So I've reduced the colours and you can see that it's uh, gone around some other colours. And just update your preview as you change the colours. I normally sit on about a four, but just depending on um, what it's turning out like, the adjustment will tweak where that outline goes. Just preview it again each time when you're happy with it. Um, then you would keep uh, you would keep that, that setting. You can zoom in to double check it. I've got some concern over that horn, the unicorn horn. We'll see how that goes. And we'll click OK. It brings it in the mat. It's probably not quite big. That's OK. Just click on it, grab the resizing handle and resize it down to the size that you want it. You'll need to place it on your uh, mat, the basically in the position that doesn't interfere with those registration handles and also um, it's fairly um, cost effective where you're using your card. I'm just putting one image. Export PDF file. Now that's an additional um, feature when you've activated your print cut activation card and you can download it to your computer to print. Just give it a name. Give it unicorn. Put the print to cut and save it. So we'll print that off in a moment. 
here's a close-up of what the activation codes look like. If you turn them off, they're gone, bring them back on. The red dots go around them, which is interesting. And we can export to your machine the cut file. And it says that the image data will not be exported. That's fine. That's actually the picture. We can go and have a look at the picture in a moment. So, yep, transfer that. I usually send it via uh, internet, but you can certainly um, use over the USB, however you normally do it. And in the layers panel, you'll see exactly what is on that mat. So you can see that it's a shape and an image. So that message just meant that that image we've just hidden did not go to the machine, did not go to your cutting machine. You can still see the activation codes are there. So they've been sent. So what you see there is what will be sent. You can hide and hide, unhide to, to suit it. Uh, it's designed not to send it, send the actual picture. I've opened a, Adobe Reader, but whatever printing software you use will be fine. You can see it's got the activation codes in the printout. You can see them on the design there too. And we'll go print. If you want a bit better uh, printout copy, you can go into your settings and adjust for best, best print. And there it goes to the printer. Once it's printed, bring it over to your machine. And you'll see the activation codes there. They go that way on your machine. Don't put them that way. Sometimes I like to cut my A4 sideways, but not in this case. It needs to have that little bar at the top. It needs to be at the top and the bottom so that your machine will uh, read it okay. And into the machine and we'll retrieve the data. Click on retrieve data, I've sent it from my computer. And you can see the data on the screen there, it's just that little picture that we had. And it tells you in, with the instructions, please attach the material printed with registration marks on the mat. Make sure the lines of the registration mark facing the machine when filling the mat. So basically what I just showed you. Choose whether you, what you're going to do with it. We're going to cut, so I've chosen cut. Make sure your half cut's off and start. It will scan this data. I'm just going to add, I've just added a little bit of tape because my mat wasn't very sticky. And there it is, cut out. Now, I wasn't overly happy with the unicorn horn. I did think that at the time. And Overall, it's not bad. There was a little bit of white on his inside leg. And I've cut out a previous one too in very thin paper. So one was card and one was thin paper. Thanks for joining me. And you can head over to my website, createwithsue.com for more tutorials and craft ideas. Thanks again. Bye.